Yo guys, Buzzkill9 here. Welcome back to another video. Today we're playing Devious Lick Simulator once again. And today we're going to be going over some update ideas for this game. I know it did not update last week, but yeah, let's get right into the video. Alrighty, so let's go over what happened last week. Now, last week, there was no new update, which made a lot of people not so happy. But uh, that just means uh, maybe they'll be making a better update for this week. I really don't know, to be honest. Uh, but yeah, a lot of people were angry that they didn't update. But who cares, honestly? Just let the devs have a break for once in their life. I mean, oh my goodness, people. Who cares if they didn't update for one week? All right, but the first update idea here is I feel like they should add like two floors. Now, you might be wondering, why two floors? Now, this will give us something actually to grind for. Now, if you think about it, they've just been adding one floor at a time, and then once we finish this floor, we're just kind of stuck on this floor, and we have nothing to do except open eggs, and it gets kind of boring, and that's why players kind of leave the game. But if they add two floors, it gives people stuff to do, and it just allows us to keep on playing the game, and actually, like, allows us to do something without getting bored and leaving the game. And that actually brings us into our next point here. Make the game more grindy and, like, give us more to do now, I know I have some ideas for this, but the devs, I'm sure, can think of stuff as well. But some more things, like I said before, add another floor, maybe add more things. Like, I like how the pyramid thing is. Uh, there's layers to this. They actually make it so you have to buy each layer. That actually, I like that idea compared to the other floors where you can, like, just, just decide to buy the areas whether or not you want to. I like it in the pyramid where you actually have to grind for each floor. I, I think that's just pretty cool how they did the pyramid. Now, the next thing here, so if we actually go into my inventory right here, uh, stop opening our eggs, please, guys, stop, 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 stop. Okay, thank you. Um, so right now, we have so many shiny godlies, right? What if there was something after shiny that we could craft? Because right now, we can just craft into shinies, and then we can't use the shinies for anything as well. Maybe we could craft them into a rainbow pet. Now, I know a lot of other games use concepts, such as Pet Simulator, Saber Simulator, other games, etc., uh, where you can upgrade a pet into multiple tiers. Uh, let's say we can upgrade this game from a normal to a shiny to a rainbow pet. Now, the rainbow pet might do three times the amount of base stats, because I know, what, the shiny does two times, is it? Yeah, two times. Then a rainbow could do three times maybe or 2.5 times depending on what the devs feel like making it. But yeah, I think like a rainbow pet would be a very good idea uh, for this game here. Now, another thing I feel like they should add is achievements. Now, right now, we just have, like, jobs, right? Uh, let's say there's, like, an achievements button right here, and you click it. Let's say you get certain, you can unlock new tiers of achievements. Let's say some, one achievement is open 100 eggs, okay? You get some prize, maybe get a boost, maybe get coins, maybe you get, I don't know, a pet, I don't know. Who knows? Uh, more achievements could be, like, break 100 things, buy this area, blah, blah, blah. Um, sell this this many times get this many coins fill up your bag this much buy this bag blah 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 you know there's a bunch of different achievements that they can add into the game and they can give us tons of different ideas for different items that it can give us to be honest another thing is pet levels now i know there might be some controversy around this um but pet levels could be something really cool i like how saber simulator did it i know i talk a lot about saber simulator but that's because the head creator the dev of this game made saber simulator and they actually implemented uh pet levels so what happens is the more your pet does uh, like break some things let's say my pet breaks 100 things right let's say it levels up to level two after it breaks 1500 things i know that's a lot of things to break but i'm just saying let's say it breaks said many uh, objects and it levels up to level two now level two will increase its stats uh, set amount let's say one level equals one percent more stats and so let's say max level is 100 like it is in saber simulator so at max level it does 100 percent more damage so it basically be doubling so let's say this pet at a level 100 would be uh 22 billion uh for the strength now i feel like pet levels would be pretty cool it actually give players like something to do like level up their pets i feel like that'd be pretty cool but there's some controversy with trading uh so i don't know how trading community would really work but i'm just saying that would be a pretty cool thing to add now another very very important thing that they need to do is add a trade requirement right now anybody can trade so i can literally go in a new account and i can join the game 
and literally just get the best pets in the game and beat the game in like five minutes that is dumb they need to do something about it i'd say roughly maybe floor three or floor four to be able to trade so people actually grind up to those floors and they don't just get stuff for free because once they get stuff for free they'll just get top floor and then just quit the game and then be done that is boring it makes people not want to really play the game because it doesn't give anything for them to do I mean, seriously, that is just dumb. All right, another thing is right now we have jobs, like I was talking about earlier, but maybe add like a variation, maybe turn them into quests and stuff. So make them a little bit harder. Like right now, collect four secret Anubis, okay? I mean, all these are just like collect things and it's just like collecting these stupid things around here. Like, that's boring. Like, maybe we have it like you open this many eggs. That's a job. Uh, maybe you sell this many times that's a job maybe you hatch his pet that's a job uh, not just steal stuff i know it kind of defeats the purpose of a job um but maybe it could just be changed into quests uh or just add a second feature called quests as well as jobs we have both of those as well and we just have two different tabs that you can open up and close on the left side over there another thing they could do is add a different type of shop now i know we have this shop right now uh which is strength and uh bags uh first of all they need to add more of both of these so more strength more bags um but they should add like a new currency such as a gems currency now i know a bunch of other games have like gem currencies but let's so say you get a certain amount of gems from breaking an object and your pets can give you a certain amount of gems as well uh but there's a shop that you can go to it and spend gems on. Let's say the shop uh, allows you to equip more pets that allows free to play players actually to be able to equip more pets. Uh, maybe you could buy a better strength boost, better coin boost, more gems boost, more speed, more pet inventory, just etc. There's so many things that you can do with a second shop. I feel like that'd be amazing with gems. That would be so cool to add. It actually give more things to do to the game. I, I, that'd be cool. Make it better for free to play players. Because one thing to do to make games popular is make it appealing to free to play players as well as pay to win. But a lot of games are just going too much to the pay to win side and just just gets boring for everybody else and they just quit the game another thing is like an egg idea all right now this game is basically just a meme right devious licks a matter it was a whole entire meme thing that went on on tiktok and stuff and a meme egg you know how funny that would be is they just have an egg i don't know robux or just a normal egg just add a whole bunch of memes in it so all the past memes in the past couple of years just add them into it i feel like that'd be pretty funny it just makes the purpose of this game even more better because this game is just basically a meme uh so i mean that'd be pretty cool if you guys have any update ideas let me know in the comments down below and i could include that in a future video hopefully they do update this week i don't know if they honestly will uh but we're crossing our fingers that they do update but yeah, that'll probably do it for the video. Hopefully you guys did enjoy. If you guys want to get a sick piece of merch like the one I'm wearing right now, make sure to go check out my Roblox group, Thunder underscore Alliance. The link is in the description down below. But yeah, hope you guys enjoy. If you guys want to join my Discord server, the link is in the description down below as well. But yeah, that'll do it. See ya!